Okay, again, scarf on. My hairstylist I went to Nigeria on me. So I gotta wait till she come back <laughs> to get my hair done. <laughs> we all know I ain't about to try to do it myself. But anyway, I wanted to come back again, make another video, and just discuss why the hell no one seems to be able to take criticism. And how not being able to take criticism and being super defensive and attacking the messenger does not help you in any way. It's not going to help you grow. It's not going to help you grow. And y'all have to learn how to take in information even if it offends you. That's how you get your perspective changed. Like if you're always listening to people who are just stroking your ego and making you feel comfortable in the same position, you will become stagnant. And you will be looking around and everybody will be telling you, oh, everything is great. But you know deep down, your shit is not right. You are not feeling happy. You are borderline depressed, you know. So sometimes you got to step out and you got to be offended. And you actually, and when you're offended, grin and bear it and listen to it until the end. You know what I'm saying? Because that's how you, that's the only way you can challenge your sensibilities. You're not a kid anymore. So no one's forcing you to learn. Okay. It's up to you to learn objectively. You learn from, I mean, you research what you believe in and you also research the counter argument. That is how you really learn. When you not only research what you have an inkling towards, but also things you may have been afraid of, okay? No religion or anything like that should stop you from gaining knowledge. Every type of knowledge. Don't let anybody tell you that any type of knowledge should be restricted or prohibited, okay? I read everything from all types of cultures and everything, and that's why I'm able to to have a well-rounded perspective because I'm not just coming from the place of being an American, African-American girl. I've, woman, <laughs> you know, I've studied other cultures and saw their practices and their traditions and I've adopted some of those because in the West, we have a very fragmented, messed up way of seeing ourselves. We do not understand um that we are part of a whole for some reason we feel like we're separate from everything else that's going on around here and that's partially because of our school system and them having a human-centered approach as if the whole world re revolves around humans and we're somewhat special um and apart from the rest of creation um but that's not the case and so that's why it's important to get your head out of these religious texts sometimes and just get right back into science and biology and evolution and um, and things like that. We didn't beam down from heaven. I'm sorry to tell you that. It just wasn't one day and then a whole human in the capacity that we're in just appeared on earth. That is not what happened. We evolved from existing creatures on this earth. It's the only thing that makes logical sense, okay? If we're attached to and we're an organism that's functioning off of everything else in the atmosphere, what makes you guys think that we didn't evolve in this atmosphere? I don't, I don't understand. Come on, we got to be for real. And that's the problem. And this, and that's where it starts at a young age when you're telling your children to accept things that don't make any logical sense. You know, it's some things in some religious texts where as a kid, I'm like, bruh, it's no way. Like, excuse me. I remember the jo the story of Jonas being in a well for I don't know how many days. I'm like, yo, I'm done with this, bruh. I I'm not. Y'all sit up here and tell me not to lie, not exaggerate, but you want me to bypass all my logic and believe things like this. And it wasn't until I got older and 
started to objectively read these religious texts when I, you know, when I accepted that it's not um, literal and it's allegory, you know, and it's and it's in its stories and tales for you to get um, deeper meanings and understand certain principles like that's that's all most of these religious texts are. And if we get out of again, feeling like we're separate from everything around us, then we will learn to cherish what we have going on around us. We would learn to take care of the clean water, the ocean water. We'll, we would learn not to litter. Like All of this stuff is a part of us. The soil, the ground. You have family members right now given you know decaying in the ground right so we have food that is coming up out of the ground that we eat and we're not concerned with the soil we're not concerned with the air quality nothing like we have to get back to the point where we feel connected to every tree every plant every animal and then once we understand that connection again, we'll be able to communicate again. You know, it's so much information out here in the ethers that just comes and downloads into my spirit because I'm open for it. You know, a lot of people are not open for anything. You're so closed minded. You think the only thing that matters is you, your job, you know, maybe your kids. You don't think holistically. You don't think in terms of... A collective consciousness like just because you do 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 you're still connected to every other living organism on this earth so you have to take that into consideration no matter how much you do well you're still part of a collective that should that should encourage you to want to not only improve yourself but also you know leave tools and tips and help others along to improve themselves because even if you raise the greatest child do you realize that that child has to go outside into the real world and has to be faced with all the ills and evils of the world so you definitely don't want to be oblivious to any of this stuff and understand that it's all a part of us and it's all a part of our story and the more you realize that the more we're able to look at things in a different way and we're able to open up our minds and stop being so narrow-minded and, and take more things in. You don't know it all. And that's the other thing. We've been so centered on just us and, and gaining knowledge and education. But we don't think about the fact that source that got us here, that created everything, you know, that we see knows all, knows all way much more than we do and until we can surrender that's right surrender submit to the higher truth which is what created everything that we see and exist in and that that keeps us functioning every day so we can submit to the fact that we do not know more than source we do so there's a subconscious part of us that keeps all our organs functioning and everything pristinely that we're not consciously controlling. So that should tell you right there that there are, there are parts of you that you don't even understand. That you don't even understand. You can't control it. And you have to surrender to that sometimes. When you feel like you don't have the answers... The answers are always available if you surrender. And that's what meditation does for you. When you, when it used to be hard for me to meditate, like I'm like, okay, I'm just sitting here, my mind get distracted, da 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 da. Until I had to learn the practice of consciously bringing my consciousness from my mind down into my the pit of my stomach and telling myself, don't think, you just listen. Just listen. It's like when you tell your kid, don't talk. Just listen. And so when you start thinking of it that way, meditation in that way, where you're just listening, but 
peacefully, you know, for answers. Let me tell you, they come to you. They come to you. And it might not come actually while you're doing your meditation. Maybe during the day when you're just working and then next thing you know, you got an answer and you got a solution. That's the way it works because your subconscious mind is always working and it's always trying to put you in the best position. You're just not aware of it. So, again, the way that we get to a point where we can learn to accept other people as they are, accept things as they are, and get other perspectives and understand where we are and who we are and our place and purpose in the world is to really start to listen. Stop thinking so much. Listen, take it all in. The spirit world is alive and vibrant and it wants your attention so you can fulfill your purpose. Get out of the world of materialism. Release your attachments. Detach. Get back into your right mind because right now you're programmed with everything that you've been programmed with since, since you were able to 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 breathe we've been programmed so you don't know what's real and you you don't know everything so and the only way you're going to learn is by one being able to watch things objectively and even if it offends you sit there and watch it because if it's offending you that means it's triggering something inside of you that has an opposite has an opposite um polarity Okay, so what we have to understand that as far as how we see things as good and bad at the end of the day is necessary because they're two ends of the same stick. Okay, so try going down to the other side of the stick and seeing how they uh, see the world. Okay, because everybody sees the world different and the more viewpoints and perspectives that you're able to see the world, the more open-minded you really are and the and the better you're able to navigate the earth okay get in touch with the earth spirits get in touch with the water spirits the fire spirits air spirits wood metal we can go on all day it's a world of unseen wonders out here that we take for granted that is the real catalyst in the real inspiration behind everything that we see but we don't want to tap into the unseen to bring about more to bring about better things into reality you have to tap into the unseen to do that or else you're just attaching yourself to things that are temporary okay so that's my chan talk for the day and thanks for tuning that into Golden Goddess Healing Arts channel. And I would definitely start to make more videos focused on, you know, healing. Uh, a lot to do with healing through the body. You know, because a lot of our trauma resides in our body. So I'm going to, you know, start doing more videos about how I ground out and release trauma from out of my body. Cause it's something that all of us should be doing. We take, we taking so much trauma. We don't even realize it. So as part of my mission, I'm going to definitely do my part and do more and try to put out more, um, more of what I know. So thanks for tuning in again.